What do you know for certain? What do you know for certain spiritually? Well, those are some of the things we're going to be looking at. Sometimes when people speak about spiritual things, they seem to think of it as nefarious or uh, vague or uh, distant. But what can you know for certain spiritually? And today, as we come to this worship playlist, I want to greet you. I'm Daryl Sol. I have been called by Jesus Christ to be the shepherd of his people at Resettenville Baptist Church. And so in the glorious name of Jesus Christ, I greet you today. As you join us for this worship playlist that will lead into some songs, that will lead into the message and some more songs, but it's designed that you can enjoy God wherever you are, worship Him, and that it might be a holistic experience. So welcome with us today. As we begin this service and this playlist together, I want to read from God's Word. And we always try and read Old Testament, New Testament. So we go to look at the uh, Old Testament now. And Psalm 71 says this in verse 1. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Rescue me and deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me. And you, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of evil and cruel men. For you have been my hope, O oh sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. And then in verse 23, it ends off like this. It says, my lips will shout for joy when I, I, when I sing praise to you, I whom you have redeemed. Just so far in God's word, let's pray together. Oh, Lord Jesus, we are conscious that you are the redeemer and that you, Father, have redeemed us through the blood of your son, Jesus and that you have kept us by your Holy Spirit, sealed us with your Spirit to be your people. Strengthen us now to worship you, to enjoy you, to listen to your word, to respond to you in song and in thought and in deed, in every way. May we glorify you. We realize, Lord, that we have been kept by you since we were born. And we are where we are now by your grace. And we are what we are by your kindness towards us. Keep us now, Lord. Strengthen us afresh in our adoration of you and with your word. For all this we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, welcome. As I said, my name is Daryl Sol, and it's good to share with you. We come to you from the Baptist Church of Rosettenville, and it's lovely to share in this time together. Uh, a welcome to you. If you'd like to comment in the comments, let us know that you're there. If there's something that I can pray for you, please email me at pastordrbc80 at gmail.com. And if you've got questions, something that I can help you with, please feel free to do that. But may God bless you in these times and keep you in the hollow of his hand. And I do want to encourage you, if this message is a blessing, won't you give it a thumbs up? Uh, one of the ways that it, that helps is that the algorithm of YouTube picks it up and passes it on to other people. Another way is for you to actually share the video. If it is a blessing to you, pass it on to somebody that maybe has been asking you these questions about how we can know for certain uh, and what can we know for certain in the Christian life. And so as we look at that, we're going to go on together. But then just some announcements. Again, I want to encourage you, try and reach out to those who are lonely, isolated. There are just so many people that are discouraged. I've just had counseling after counseling of people that are just suicidal even, lonely, and the evil one has come in to discourage and knock people. Won't you be the one that picks up the phone and calls them? 
Why don't you reach out in some way practically, take them a meal, drop off something at their house even. And especially for those that are battling and recovering from this COVID uh, virus that's out there, be the hands of Jesus very practically in these days. And then another thing is just to remind you that next week, of course, is communion again. Prepare your heart to meet together in communion, either at the church at nine o'clock in the live service or at uh, 11 o'clock here on YouTube. Well, not on YouTube, on Zoom, of course. And we get together on Zoom and you can join and take in, take communion together or again at the 12 o'clock service in French with the English interpretation. So please join in somewhere, but don't miss communion if at all possible and make that a, 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 a key thing to share in with our Lord Jesus at his table. And then remind you as well, as the month end comes to an end, do remember to put God first in your giving. God has said everything you receive from him is his empowerment. He gives you the strength to work. He gives you the pension that comes in. Set aside for him that first tenth. Give that to him directly. Channel it through the, to the church, through the EFT, but give it to God and make sure you don't touch that as his money. And he has promised that he will not let you be in the situation where there's more month than there's money, but rather he will give you more money than there's month because he'll open up the floodgates of heaven and provide for you. But that takes a step of faith, whether you have a little bit and you've just got a few hundred or a few thousand rand and you give that first tenth, or maybe you've got a lot. Whatever you have, whether you've got a lot or a little, the great challenge is to put God first in your finances and make sure that he is the one that is Lord of your heart, because so easily money can grip our hearts. Materialism can lead us astray from Jesus. And Jesus has given us this safeguard, also this blessing that he might pour out in our lives those things which money cannot buy, uh, which he gives us as we put him first in our finances. And as we give to the Lord, I do want to remind you just to uh, remember those who are struggling. Next week, of course, it'll be benevolence offering again. Remember them who are struggling. But let's pray together as we prepare our hearts to worship the Lord in this playlist. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you, to adore you. We come in a sense like Mary to sit at your feet to listen to you. But also we come to sing to you, uh, to praise your name, to lift up your praises, uh, joining with the angels around your throne as we acknowledge that you are supreme, that you are Lord over all and that we need you. We need to uh, be changed by our worship, that our focus is not in, and on, in, in ourselves, we're not gazing in our belly button, but that our eyes are lifted up to our God and Saviour. And that we take our eyes off our problems and we see the solution. We see you, our God, who can more than uh, meet our needs as we trust you in these days. Help us to know your certainties. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.